first thing you want to do is go to your products um, link on the left hand menu mouse over to add product and click add product this is where your product title is going to go and this is where your product description is going to go so we go to your source which I'm using the website and these products have already been input but I'm going to use it for an example so I copy the title from the page right click and copy then paste click and paste that into the name field that's the product name and we need the description so we'll copy the description right click highlight it right click copy right click and paste okay this is an axle and here's your product categories on the right so we'll select axles and then at this point it's a good idea to click save or publish so that you have an entry in your product catalog <clears throat> the next thing we're going to do is determine if it's a single product or if it has multiple products single product we're just going to use simple product option put input the SKU input the price and then update for this one we have multiple options for this product these two here don't have prices so we won't input those but this one here and these the rest of these these other total of four we want to input those so we go back to the website we over here on this pull down we choose variable product that means that there's variations of this product and then we click on attributes to give it the attributes and we're going to click add for this field and we're going to call these kits make sure that you check both of these boxes visible on the product page and used for variations and then we'll go over here and we'll s copy right click copy paste and then we need to add a separator and that is the shift backslash key the backslash key is right above your enter key on your keyboard okay go get our next product right click copy right click paste shift backslash to add that separator okay two more copy paste shift backslash to add a separator and then final right click copy right click paste shift wait you don't need a, a separator for this one because it's the, the last one so we'll click save attributes okay and when the, your little timer is done it's it's saved so now we have to go create the variations we click on the variations tab there's two options you can add a variation one at a time or you can create variations from all attributes and that's the one I'm going to choose you click go and just ignore that dialog box ignore that one and it created four products for us and it created them if you notice it puts them in descending order well we want those to sorry mouse over this area until your mouse turns into a cross and then you can click and drag it so we we'll just reorder these so that they're in the same order that we have them listed on this website we're going to save those changes and I like to save changes after every change so that we don't lose any of the work okay and as you mouse over these little fields here you'll notice that you have this um, these extra buttons pop up here and this is where you're going to input the, the detail information for each product so we click this 
uh, down arrow to open up the details and we'll go we're gonna input the SKU and the price okay so we'll go get the SKU right click copy and then we can visually see that the price is 55 so let's, I'll just remember that it's 55 go back to this page right click and paste the SKU and then I'll just type in the price here okay and then I will go back up to the <clears throat> the toggle and click that so that it closes this field and I will open the next one go back over here grab the SKU and this one is 105 paste 105 close that grab this next one this one's 55 paste 55 and the last one copy right click paste 105 close that update okay the next step we want to add photos and we've already got these photos uh, on the website so we're going to download these photos and save them to the um, to your computer desktop so that we can then upload them to the new website so you click this and then get the next one save image as save and then we'll go back to the product page and those images um, again we're going to go down to the variations because that's where the product detail is and we're going to click the down arrow to open up the details okay. click on this uh, button here to upload an image and then we click on upload files select files it takes us right to it and this is the simple kit this is the you know I, I know the difference because I already uploaded these but this is your uh, your low cost kit so we'll click on that open once it finishes uploading set variation okay close that and then open the next one and this is your upload we're only gonna have to upload these once and then we'll just be able to select them from the, the the media library I have all the photos added and then I click update okay and then if I want to see the product I click this little button here this takes me directly to the product page and then I click the options to, to uh, choose which kit I want to purchase and then I'll add that to the cart now there's one thing that I forgot to do and it's to give the product a default photo so now I want to go back and edit this I click on edit product up here okay. over on the right hand side I'm gonna scroll down to this field right here product image I'll click that and we'll choose this uh, this photo as the default product image set product image okay now that's the one that everybody's gonna see from the catalog update again and then we'll go we can go view the product again there's two spots to view the product and there it is your detail default photo and there's your product photos um, so and because this product was already input I'm gonna go ahead and delete it and to do that you just click edit product and you move the you cl click on this button here move to trash okay. and it it deletes that one and now that's in the trash so just to recap we added a product 
we added variations for that product and we added photos for the variations um, so the customers can choose that product and add it to the shopping cart and check out.